Hello everybody who is watching and welcome to the Tony Sport Newsfeed. My name is Patrick and today I am here with another video for you. It is all about touring car once again. 110 scale is the topic we are talking about mostly. And um, yeah, today I want to try to yeah point out a few gear differential tips or a few statements about uh, the gear differential which we are using in our touring cars in the rear of the car as we usually use a solid spool axle in the front. So first of all the informations you will get in this video they are based on yeah on my experiences throughout many years of, of driving around with RC cars so maybe um, there will be guys who, who think in a different way about uh, this topic because um, the gear differential topic is yeah it's very um, very sensitive and you can uh, take a lot of influence on the handling of your car on the track but everybody has a different approach on this uh, thing and um, all I want to say is uh, that these rules are not uh, the only ones which will maybe work on the track so um, first of all it is important to, to explain what the gear differential is doing as we all use the gear differential in the back the differential allows the rear tires to rotate at a different speed when you're driving through the corner from corner entry to corner exit the gear differential is working the most of its part so um, as we have um, the bevel gears on the inside of the, the diff case um, they will rotate at a different speed when you drive through the corner it's uh, very easy to explain the wheel on the inside of the corner has to yeah, roll a shorter distance than the wheel on the outside of the corner and to equal this we use uh, the gear differential in the rear to make our car drivable I would say when we would use uh, spools front and rear it will be very very hard to, to handle the power and to to achieve a car which handles good on the track that's what the gear differential basically is doing and since we are using the gear diffs maybe some guys uh, remember the good old days when we used the ball diffs there it was a completely other um, uh, yeah, way to work with these differentials. It was a little bit more complicated back in these days. But since we have the gear differentials, we can adjust the sensibility and the, the efficiency of the differential with um, different kinds of fluid, of diff oil. So we can use thinner or thicker oils to get the diff more soft or more hard. But a lot of times um, you get asked on the racetrack by other racers, what is better, soft oil or a harder oil? Should I use a softer oil for more steering or is a softer oil maybe for more retraction? And this is um, something which is always not easy to, to give the right answer to because this is very, very car specific and it is track specific as well because it is very uh, important to, to see how much traction the track offers. If you're running on a super low traction track or on a high bite track, this will cause you to, to work differently with your, with your gear diff in the rear. And because of all these conditions coming together, it is not easy to point out one rule of thumb about gear diff oil. So you cannot say a hard oil always makes more steering or a soft oil always makes more traction. That's um, not the true. So first of all, I think when you're driving on a high bite track, maybe a carpet track with a good amount of traction, normally your car will always handle a little bit better and a little bit more easy with a harder diff oil. It will drive a little bit more easy. You can uh, go on throttle harder and more early because as harder the diff oil is, as more torque gets transferred to the rear wheels and you will have kind of a more forward traction. And in the same moment when you are rolling through the corners, your car will not feel edgy and twitchy when you are in the apex of the corner because when the diff oil is very soft, your car will turn around a little bit more in the middle of the corner. And when the traction is super high and you have more than enough of steering and your diff is too thin, then your car will be easy or not easy to drive in the middle of the corner because it will bite around the corner and your rear will try to follow but this will be uh, not an easy task so when you are using a harder diff oil in high traction conditions normally 
you should benefit from it because you can go on the throttle harder because you have enough traction and your car will produce more forward drive and your car will drive through the whole corner a little bit more relaxed and easy. On the other side, when you're running on a low traction track, maybe a dusty outdoor track, you maybe will yeah, have a, a hard time out on the track when your diff is too hard. Because when the diff is too hard, it will not allow the tires to roll at a different speed so easy. And this will cause uh, the car to slide around on these uh, loose surface even more. So a softer oil has the benefit that it creates a little bit more mid-corner steering when the car is getting slower in the corner near to the apex. And this will also help you when the traction is not super high because the car will not push um, yeah, out of the corner all the way. And as well, a softer oil will allow you to go on throttle a little bit harder out of the corner, especially in low traction. When your diff oil is too hard and you hit the throttle very, very heavy out of the corner on a dusty track, you will not have a lot of forward traction. And um, when the diff is softer, you will have it more easy for yourself to go on throttle, to find the right balance of, of throttle you need out of the corner. A uh, soft diff oil will help you in this case. So generally we can say harder diff oil is good on high traction tracks because it drives more easy. You can go on the throttle harder on this track and you will pro uh, definitely get more forward traction and more forward bite. What the hard diff oil is not doing, it will not help you to create side bite. This is something which the hard diff oil will not help you. So go harder in oil when the car drives too easy and is too slow. This is a good, um, a good uh, a good thing uh, you can always carry in mind. Sometimes you are on a track and your car feels good, you're driving around, you don't know what to do because the balance feels good and everything seems to be all right, but your lap times, they are off the pace. And this sometimes can be uh, caused by a diff which is too soft and the car will not produce that last uh, bite out of the corner. Go a little bit up in diff oil and you will see what your car is doing. And as long as the handling and the feeling of the car stays the same or even gets better, you should go harder and harder with the diff oil until you reach that sweet spot. Softer diff oil, I would say go softer when your car is too hard to drive, especially out of the corners when you're always super hard on the gas and the car is sliding around and drifting around, then it's time to maybe go down to a softer diff oil because then you can apply the power more early on your rear wheels on all of your wheels and uh, a softer diff oil will also help you to create a little bit more side bite in the car because um, it will allow the rear wheels to rotate at a different speed more easily and the car will feel a little bit more free. So this is the, the basic thing about diff oil. I mean it's car specific I said in, in the beginning of the video and um, therefore I would say it is good to have um, a lot of different diff oils, maybe from 3000 up to 10,000. Um, when we're talking about 110 scale electric touring car, it is uh, good to, to carry this, these um, values of oil in your bag and then you can uh, use them on the racetrack. And as it takes some time to, to um, change the diff oil, it is always good to have a second or a third a gear differential in your in your, in your um, uh, parts box and um, when you prepare them with different fluids you can change them more quickly on the racetrack to to test back to back with different diff oils more quickly and more easily without any stress uh, during a practice day or a race day so i recommend to definitely get a second gear differential for your car if you don't have it until now to to experiment a little bit more with the diff oil then, uh, last but not least, it is also very important to, to maintain the diff in the right way. Um, since we race with the gear differentials, we are all very happy because we don't have to, to open up the differentials after every second or third run, which we had uh, to do with the, with the old school ball differentials. But from time to time, you have to, to check the internal gears of the diff. If everything is still working smooth, you have to take apart your differential to yeah, fill it up with some fresh fluid, which is not getting dirty. Um, and, and this is, should be good for, for consistency. And you always have to care about the O-rings in your differential because 
these O-rings, they swell up from uh, time to time as you use them even longer and longer. And when these O-rings are swelling up in the diff case, they produce more pressure on your diff outdrive. And then your diff will feel harder than the oil maybe want it to be. So always keep in mind that you have to change the O-rings in your de gear differential from time to time. I would not point out a number of battery packs for this task because this is um, yeah, different from car to car and it depends also on the quality of the O-ring and the diff case. But I would say three or four times during a racing season you should replace the O-rings in your diff and um, yeah, to make sure that your diff works always smooth, consistent and that you know how hard it will be when you fill in a 5 or a 6K oil. So sometimes um, the teammates want to compare their diffs and um, yeah, Normally you lift up the car and you, you're, you're spinning around the wheels and you try to, to feel which diff is harder and which no, is not. But um, yeah, this is uh, really complicated to feel. But therefore the RC industry uh, produced some uh, different kind of diff check devices. They are available from a lot of different manufacturers. And um, these are little machines which you can use on your wheel axle. And when you switch the machine on, it will let your wheel spin and the machine will measure a value of resistance your wheel is producing when it's spinning around. And with this kind of a diff checker, you can compare the hardness of diffs between yeah, yourself and your teammates or other brands as well. Um, a, a good tip when you're doing this is that you should always use one and the same diff checker when you want to compare five or six differentials with another because um, not all these diff check machines um, show you the same values. So it is not so easy to compare the values of different diff checkers. That's what I want to say. Always use the same when you want to go around on your team's pit table to check the hardness of the diffs. And always keep in mind that it is a difference if you check the diff before or after the run, because um, as the oil gets a little bit warm and um, thinner in viscosity during the run, uh, you should uh, always yeah, think about if you check all the diffs at the same time or at the same point of, of a temperature of the oil. I think it's not so easy to, to talk about this topic because um, every track is different, every car is different, not all, not all the oils are the same and you can do a lot of different things with your gear differentials. What I want to say is go out and test it for yourself. You will feel a difference and especially work with these simple rules when to go softer, when to go harder with your diff oil. And in the end, it all comes down to the driver's preferences because not everybody likes a car which is a little bit pushing out of the corner. Not everybody likes a car which has a lot of steering out of the corner. So it depends on the driver's uh, yeah, likings. And that's all I can tell you today about the gear differential. Try out different oils. Go harder when your car is driving too easy and too slow and go softer when the car is too hard to drive, especially out of the corners. That's what I can say. And all the other things, how much more steering you will get when you go harder or thinner, this is something you have to feel yourself on the track out there. That's the video for today. Thanks for watching. And if you have a different approach or different ideas about gear differential and diff oil, just leave your comments here below the video. We want to interact with you guys. We want to know how you do um, adjust your gear diff and how how you do how do you think uh, about uh, all these all these uh, rules about diff oil and we are really excited about your comments below the video if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel just do it and make sure that the bell is on tony spot newsfeed you will never miss a video in the future thanks for watching keep in mind always race with tony sport you will never race alone take care enjoy the hobby as far as it goes at the moment stay healthy and we see us in the next one goodbye